welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is having an absolutely splendid january so i wanted to kind of start off this year by talking about a fragrance that i think has been super hyped up recently and i feel like i actually heard about it through it was either tiktok or like instagram reels but basically it was just like on the trendy side of like the internet people were totally like selling this fragrance and it sounded amazing and it's also super super affordable in fact i think it's like probably like 15 dollars from amazon of course i am talking about choco musk by al rahab this is the eau de parfum and you get 1.7 fluid ounces for like 15 dollars like it's literally so affordable and it's also like from amazon but i am so excited to talk about this one because i have a lot of thoughts if you're new to my channel and you like all things fragrance related definitely make sure to subscribe and if you're coming back thank you as always for visiting i'm so happy to see you Okay, so let's talk about Choco Musk. The main accords for this one are vanilla, warm, spicy, chocolate, sweet, powdery, musky, cacao, amber, and balsamic. As you can see, it's definitely very gourmand, quite oriental. And then as for the notes, as this is a cheaper fragrance, it doesn't have that top middle base note structure. It's just a much more linear fragrance and it only has like one row of notes, but this includes vanilla, milk chocolate, white musk, cinnamon, spicy notes, amber, sandalwood, myrrh, and rose. Right off the bat i just want to like preface this by saying there's none of like the floral notes like the rose i don't smell any rose whatsoever and then anything else like the cinnamon spicy notes amber and sandalwood are very very subtle you really won't get any of those notes on unless you like really put your mind to it so most of all what you're going to be spelling with choco musk is the vanilla the milk chocolate and the white musk which i guess given the name of the fragrance is pretty like expected i do want to share with you my experience of receiving and trying out this fragrance for the first time. So I ordered it from Amazon and when I first sprayed it, I literally thought I got like a dud or something. For some reason, this fragrance did not smell like anything. It had zero projection, zero longevity. I couldn't smell anything. Like I like sprayed it on my skin. I put my nose like to my skin, like pressed it in and like breathed in. And I literally could not smell anything. I was like, what the <gasps> heck? So then I like went and opened my closet and then I sprayed it like all over my clothes, like many, many spritzes. I opened up my closet and like took a deep whiff and I literally smelled nothing. I was so confused. I would say maybe there was like a tiny, tiny bit of like just like a light chocolate vanillic powdery scent but like I was literally getting nothing like I could not smell anything like this wasn't even like body mist territory it literally felt like someone took like the bottle poured out like 75% of the liquid and then filled the rest up with water shook it up and then like sold it as a perfume I was so disappointed I was literally going to like bash this perfume so hard and be like, oh my God, like I hate this. Like I literally like, why are people raving about it? But I'm really glad that I, you know, took some time to actually wear it and to let it sit. And I think that this is a really important lesson for me moving forward to not really judge fragrances right away. Because I think what happened was that having just been shipped, the fragrance was like sitting out in the cold for a long time. So it was probably sitting in temperatures like well below room temperature and so that kind of like messed up the formula so i had to give it time i guess like sit in my room for the liquid to actually like i don't know like activate or something i don't really know how that works but it did take like several days for the fragrance to actually come alive to actually perform but i am really glad that i gave it that chance because now it is a fragrance that i absolutely adore in terms of notes I would just say a vanillic, chocolatey, musky scent that's overall really, really powdery. And what I think is really unique about this fragrance is that this is just like a complete like hyper gourmand fragrance. Like it's just like a chocolate scent, but it's not too sweet at all. In fact, I think the sweetness is really toned down. I don't think this is like a headache inducing or like syrupy sweet fragrance at all. I think because of that, Choco Musk is advertised as like a unisex fragrance, which I would never, I never would have described it that way just because I think that something with this level of chocolatey, vanillic, gourmand facets to it would definitely lean 
more feminine but i mean this could definitely appeal to anyone which is really interesting and so right away i definitely drew parallels to prada candy night in that they're both oriental powdery chocolate perfumes but while this one is definitely more of a vanillic milk chocolate prada candy is definitely spicier and with that bitter orange it's just ever so slightly citrusy it's kind of bitter and it's much spicier chocolate but i'm gonna be completely honest like i've been super vocal about the fact that i love prada candy night as a fragrance but honestly i think i prefer choco musk in terms of smell over prada candy night which is honestly like insane to say given that this is like a sub 20 dollar fragrance from amazon and it smells the way that it does it's actually like insane it's it definitely does smell a little bit like alcohol at first. I mean, I feel like that kind of goes with all fragrances. Like, never spray a perfume and immediately smell it. Like, let it dry down a little bit because perfumes are made out of alcohol and they're going to smell really strong, potentially unpleasant at first. So just give it a second. It's just a powdery, delicious chocolate. And I think what kind of sets it apart from Prada Candy Night for me is that it just has something about it that is so creamy and so lactonic i think that vanilla is just brought out to make it the ultimate like complete gourmand fragrance like there's literally nothing about this fragrance that like i don't find edible whereas like something like prada candy night it does have that kind of spicy bitter orange which makes it lean a little bit more fresh spicy but for this one it literally smells like like Nesquik powder. I've seen people describe it that way, which that makes it sound kind of weird, but it smells like like a hot cocoa mix or like Nesquik chocolate milk powder in like the best way possible. I think it's absolutely just delicious. Like it's such a yummy fragrance. And I think for the fall and winter time, it's just an amazing fragrance. Let's get into the rating. So starting off with presentation, I actually quite like the bottle. I think there's something about this like really flat half. It's like a half of a bottle, which is just kind of interesting to me. The shape is kind of just fun to me. I like when perfume bottles are not just like a rectangle with words. I think those are so boring. So this one is kind of interesting. And I think especially for price, the quality of this bottle is quite nice. It's made out of a pretty thick glass. Um, the box was pretty ugly. I think I recycled it like right away so <gasps> yeah but like who cares you know what I mean like, moving on to the scent absolutely adore the scent this is just like the kind of scent that like you spray it on your skin and you cannot stop smelling yourself for the rest of the day because <sighs> It just smells so good like honestly like uplifts my mood when i just get whiffs of this throughout the day because it smells so delicious i feel like there's not really much else to say other than it is a beautiful beautiful gourmand vanilla chocolate fragrance and even though the way it's marketed it's just it revolves around like that chocolate note if you look at the main accords you'll actually see that vanilla is listed above chocolate which i honestly totally agree with because like there's so much vanilla in this fragrance that makes it sweet creamy and just rounds out that chocolate so as for performance if i were to rate the performance like right when i received the fragrance this would have been a zero out of five like grade f fragrance like absolute worst perfume i have ever ever tried in terms of performance now like I, it's so weird i feel like this perfume did like a complete 180 like because now i think it's a great performer which is honestly surprising given how gourmand it is i wouldn't really expect it to last as long as it does but it stays on my skin for six plus hours the projection of this fragrance does remain pretty low throughout its wear it is really powdery and it, it does leave a much smaller scent bubble around you than some other fragrances i don't really mind the low projection at all because the longevity is so so good choco musk by our hub is one of like the best value value for money fragrances it's so accessible so affordable but it's also just a fantastic fragrance and like i don't want to be like whip out your phone and like go buy it right now but like 
whip out your phone and go buy it right now. You know what I mean? Because like, it's literally such a good fragrance and you really have nothing to lose. The only thing that I will say is that Amazon doesn't take returns for perfumes. So like in the case that you need to return it, like you probably won't be able to. But like, I don't really see why you would need to because like, I, you, like you can't really go wrong with this scent unless you absolutely hate gourmands and you hate chocolate and vanilla. So that is gonna wrap up today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so glad that this was like going around a lot on TikTok and Instagram because I wouldn't have like discovered it otherwise. It was pretty underground, I guess, just being a Middle Eastern fragrance, but I'm glad that it's finally getting the hype it deserves because it is a beautiful fragrance. If you guys have tried Choco Musk, definitely let me know how you feel about it. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time and yeah.